Hey folks, Sylvius here. Um, <clears throat> last time I did Walk the Butcher's Path over yonder. Uh, since that went relatively quickly, I decided to do another DDO video in a row. So I think that's three DDO videos in a row. Once I get in, I'll uh, kill my overlay on the side. And I do not remember logging off on a pile of boxes, but I suppose I did. Alright, did I just uh, do that correctly? Okay. I never trust my recording program. Okay. Um, I'm going to just do the same thing I did last time, which is just find a level 2 quest and roll with it. Although it would be kind of cool to not be in the sewers again. Um, I want to make sure I'm still in the harbor, though. That's the marketplace. Okay. Let's, you know, change of plans. Let's just do the quests that we spot. <laughs> this is actually a really good quest. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Sigmund, that dude's behalf is. Have made it for some interesting tavern tales. I represent House Kundark. And if you ever need something protected or kept safe, you should seek us out. Or if you're looking for work, I might be available for a job. House Kunderic has been hired to seal an altar for a wealthy harbor merchant, Haverdashers. Haverdasher. One of the chief warders is en route to the merchant's house to perform the sealing, but we'd like to make certain he's safe. Will you protect him while he's inside? Sure. Our client goes by the name of Eye Gouger. Charming, eh? And his home is quite nearby. Warder Haverdasher will meet you there. I got your basement. Elite, go. Yeah, this is a cool quest. It gives decent EXP. Again, I forgot to buy a hireling. Whatever, I'll probably be fine. Haberdasher, Kundarak Warder. Doldorn, I thought they'd never send help. I had to hole up here. Those damn scorps stung me in my... Ahem. <clears throat> well, never mind that. Point is, there's a nest of scorpions in there. Clear them out and I'll reward you. Simple enough? I'm on it. Stay here where it's safe. I should be fine without a hireling. It is a level 2 quest. So yeah, this quest is pretty decent EXP. I mean, it's not a huge amount of EXP, but it's a good amount of EXP considering how incredibly short the quest actually is. And... I forgot to turn on my power attack feet. There we go. I want to make sure I keep myself healed, so I'm going to keep using my uh, healing fist thingy as much as humanly possible. Come on. Gotcha. Anybody else? Black Tail, the boss. Okay, I definitely do not really need to bother with many things here. Chest. Plus three outfit of death block, not bad, not bad. And... Quest completed. Took you long enough. All right then, I left you some odds and ends in this wooden box. Damn, my leg hurts. Now get me out of here. Now get out of here. I have to ward that shrine now, and I'll be embarrassed if you watch me hobble down there. And yet another chest. Ooh, plus three retributive outfit of hammer block. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like the idea of um, making myself like the most passive tank-like character imaginable, and um, focusing entirely on like items that deal damage when people try to strike me. Haverdasher has returned to House Kandarak Ward. Has returned to the House Kandarak Ward and related the help that you provided. Thank you for helping with our little vermin problem. It was not a difficult fight. You're welcome. Let's see, what do we got here? Junk. Death block outfit. Comma of bloodletting. Comma of rip ripost. I don't really know how to pronounce that, to be honest. Let's go with the comma. No, never mind. That comma's junk. We'll go with the bloodletting comma. <clears throat> so I'm actually just going to compete the repeat this quest again. Because it's such just an incredibly easy just in and out quest. Um, one thing I want to point out about this quest, too, that's actually semi-relevant, uh, because it's such a fast in-and-out quest, 
as you can see. It is a fast in and out quest. <clears throat> when you die and need to recall out of a dungeon, you come back to wherever your spawn point was. <clears throat> and if your spawn point was set into the harbor, you'll come back into the harbor with, like, very low HP. Um, any kind of, like, for example, my uh, anger boots, you know, like, activated equipment, stuff like that, can, that can only be used a couple of times a day. All those things... Oh, hey, I forgot that there's a um, bookshelf over here. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> All of those kind of things will be... Um, you know, still, like, wasted if you've recalled out of a dungeon. But when you complete a dungeon successfully, all of those things are, uh, you know, refilled, and your heals fully refilled. Any spell points you may have used are also refilled. Um, any kind of, like, negative buffs or poison you have on you are also fixed. So, yeah, if you die, even if this quest is, like, an incredibly low level, like you're level 20 or something like that, if you die, you can come back here and just run through this quest really quick, and then you'll get yourself some HP, you'll get your, your abilities all restored, and things like that. Also, I mean, on level, the quest is still pretty decent EXP. Like, 560 EXP isn't huge, but it's still pretty decent EXP. Um... And you get three rewards, so I mean, like, you know, kind of can't beat that. Fatality? Eh, that's junk. Let's get the fireproof hat. Alright, I think I'll do it one more time. <laughs> <clears throat> it's great if you're trying to get a start on Kanith Crafting, because in Kanith Crafting you just need a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of items to just break down. So, being able to just quickly get three items is really nice. That said, um, Blacktail, the boss scorpion, I think he's technically an optional. He doesn't show up 100% of the time, and he doesn't give his chest if he doesn't show up at all. Just for the record. So you may not always get three items. But yeah, there is a lot of benefit to this quest. Um, <coughs> for example, Guild Renown is a good spot to farm Guild Renown. Come on. Also, this, um, thing can give you Amber Vials, and I don't know if they're still important, but in the past, Amber Vials were kind of valuable. Cool, Blacktail's here again. Uh, yeah. In the past, past Amber Vials were valuable, uh, and this was a really good spot to farm Amber Vials. So like I said, good quest. Loot. Do 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 do. Blue skadoo. We can too. Actually, alright, I lied. I'm gonna keep doing this because there's something I wanna point out. Quest Ransack is a stacking penalty for repeatedly playing the same quest. You may play each difficulty level once per character per Incarnation without incurring quest ransack penalties. After that, each playthrough will add a 20% stacking penalty to base EXP up to a maximum of 80%. Each day, the penalty is reduced by 50%. There you go. But yeah, that's not particularly what I wanted to showcase. I did want to showcase something else, so we'll get to that. Although, again, this is kind of awesome. Anarchic. Anar anarchic? Yeah, I guess that's how it's pronounced. Who knows? Hand wraps. Um, they give you a negative level if you're not uh, chaotic. Um, and I'm lawful good. But it's it's a funny aspect because monks have to be lawful. So any monk basically just can't use those types of weapons in the first place. Whoops. Repeat. There we go. I could, in theory, do this on hard to get the uh, first time completion on hard bonus, which I might do next time. Anyway, yeah, and moral of the story is this quest is really good to just farm. And basically, you should do that. Although, you might want to do it at a slightly lower level than I'm. That's it. It is nice to be able to farm this at the point where you can solo it and not need to worry about bringing in the hireling. Just for, uh, like, simplicity's sake. 
Oh yeah, it's like her. Although I missed the one in the back, that's annoying. Blacktail. Dude, Blacktail does always spawn. Hammer vial. And Blacktail doesn't count as one of the scorpions you have to kill. Interesting. Yeah. Fun, fun story, right? The the first time I did this quest, I did it and failed like four times in a row. Because I killed all the things, and then it was like, you know, just claim your reward. So I hit recall, and I recalled out. Well, I never talked to Haverdasher here. Why is goggles of natural armor? So yeah, I never talked to Haverdasher, recalled out, and then just failed the quest each time I did that. And I didn't understand what was happening. I was like, where's my quest reward? Acid proof goggles. I might pick, ooh, feather falling gloves. I might pick that up instead. Feather falling is a pretty good enchantment. Like they actually might be able to be sold. Oh, that's right, I have to pick the quest up again. Also, one of the things I'm trying to do in my videos and I keep forgetting is uh, try to keep my cursor away from the center because I always make my little, like, you know, my last video screenshot. Um, <clears throat> and I hate when I have my cursor, like, right here over the combat. So I'm going to try to keep it off to the side here. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Run away from me. Vial of pure water. I think those were also kind of valuable. Actually, those might have been the one that was valuable, and the um, the amber vial was the like lesser quality one. Oh look, got bonus EXP for killing a bunch of scorpions for my monster man. That's cool. Oops, not what I meant to do. I got a, uh, a screenshot pick there. That way I don't have to watch my recording. Alright. Let's see. Does it happen this time? Wow. Armor at plus four ring of speed. That's not bad at all. I guess I have to do this one more time. Are we at full uh, ransack? Whoops. I didn't mean to zoom in. Nope, we're not at full ransack yet. Give me my chest! <clears throat> Although I am getting hugely reduced EXP. Uh, and how much do I get for killing... Or do I not get any for killing him? I thought I got some for killing him. <laughs> I'm taking an EXP penalty because I'm too high of a level 2. Plus two acid hand reps. That's not bad. Fireproof outfit, soundproof, junk necklace. I'll take the acid hand reps. I might be able to sell them for something. Okay. Let's try this again. There's just, there's something I wanted to point out. Unless they've changed how it works. If, the, if it doesn't happen this time, I'll try one more time, and then otherwise I'll just uh, verbally tell you what I thought it was, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Oops, I wasn't close enough. Die, Mr. Scorpion. Just die. Walk of the sun. Amber Vile. that they're all just hopping down. Alright. I'm just casting those for no real reason, just for the right. Okay. Oh. Blacktail does not give me EXP. So he's not considered an optional. He is always here. He is the boss, apparently. 
Also, I thought he was dead. <clears throat> Plus two heavy wooden shield, that's a little disappointing. Oh, we got at least um, three treasure bags, that's kind of cool. Oh, snap. Alright, I, I will try this one more time, and if it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm doing. On that note, though, I have accrued a decent amount of money from this quest, so... This was valuable to me. Also, while I did get a decent amount of um, money from this, I'm glad that I didn't get a decent amount of EXP, because I'm, like, too high of a level. Uh, that's actually something I'm happy about, because... Hmm, none of these are particularly good. Frostproof, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to not super level up, because I don't want to be taking EXP penalties for these quests, and, um... I would prefer to be doing quests on level, so that you guys watching the videos can kind of be like, okay, this is what the quest would be like. You know, here's how hard the monsters hit, here's how often the monsters hit, things like that. Here's how difficult it is to kill the monsters. It's slightly less relevant when I'm, you know, like, when my armor class is a 60 because I'm a level 22 or something like that. It's a little less relevant to the situation, if you know what I'm saying. Still, I mean, at the very least, it kind of teaches you where to go. And I try to point out things like, you know, monster over yonder, things like that. I try. Come on, where are you at? There we go. Oh, don't just... Okay. It's gonna be like, did you just go back down? A toad. What a toad. Alright. God, it's annoying when they go underground. I just want to kill them. And they, like, temporarily make that impossible. Alright. Does it happen? I think it happened. There's a concept of, like, it's called chest ransack. Um, I don't know if they do it anymore or not. It used to be if you kept looting the same chest over and over again, it would start dropping reduced quality loot so that you couldn't do what I'm doing right here. Uh, I can't... It used to, like, tell you, though, like, pop up and be, like, quest ransack. Chest ransack, sorry. Uh, it, it's an issue when you're trying to farm a, like, specific item from a dungeon or something like that. Oh, wow, my inventory slots are filled? That's awesome. <laughs> Well then. Alright, folks. Uh, let me log out here. Log out. Because I can't turn my quest in right now because my inventory is filled. Um, Alright, folks. I won't be doing another video video tonight. Uh, of course, you guys won't see them because it takes me forever to upload them to YouTube and everything. But anyway, um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook.